What happens when you ask an AI to create a brand new Minecraft mod idea for you? I asked ChatGPT to create me a Minecraft mod concept and then I actually made it. You're going to be pretty shocked to see all the results were at the end. Right, so now we're in ChatGPT, I'm going to ask it to create us a random Minecraft mod idea. So I'm going to type in, create me a concept for a new Minecraft mod that's groundbreaking and not too advanced to make. Let's just type that in and see what it gives us. Okay, so it's given us the mod name EchoCraft. EchoCraft The Green Revolution. So this is a mod designed to introduce environmentally focused gameplay into Minecraft, encouraging players to engage in sustainable practices and learn about environmental conservation in a fun and interactive way. So this is a very PG family friendly mod concept, but this is generally what ChatGPT usually gives you. The core idea is to balance resource extraction with ecological impact, adding a new dimension to the survival experience. That seems like an extremely advanced mod using energy generation, storage and power and that's going to take me a long time to make. We need something a little bit more simple to make in this video. So our second mod idea it's given us is Mythic Minerals. Mythic Minerals introduces a range of new magical minerals to the world, each possessing unique properties and they can be used to craft special items and tools. Or in gemstone mods, very unique. Definitely a groundbreaking idea that no one else has done, right? The mod focuses on exploration, mining and crafting, adding a touch of magic and variety to the standard experience. So, we have a few different minerals. So first of all, we have Aurorium, which glows in the dark and emits light blue particles. Let's just start with the new mineral. So first, we're going to create Aurorium. I'm actually going to just use the quick crater here just to make like the full sets. I'm going to go to M Crater. We're going to call this mod Mythic Minerals. And we're going to make it for the newest version we can, which I think is Minecraft 1.20.1. Right, so Aurorium is our first ore. So it has to glow in the dark and emit light blue particles. We'll create a new ore pack. We're going to call this Aurorium. Now, I'm not sure what the ore is going to be called, but it's going to emit light blue coal particles, so we'll make it blue. And the power factor we'll do too. Aurorium, let's make it dust based. I think that sounds pretty cool. Sounds kind of like a magical ore. So now we have a range of different things. So we have Aurorium, which looks pretty cool as an ore. Now we also want it to be glowing, so we're going to enable emissive rendering as well, which makes it glow. And we're going to give it like a little bit higher light opacity, let's say 25. Luminance, let's put it to 5. And then it also said that it's going to be found exclusively in cold biomes. So what we're going to go ahead and do is where it says restriction biomes, we're just going to literally add only cold biomes. I'm going to take that as snowy biomes instead of just random cold stuff. So we're going to do snowy slope, snowy beach, plains, and taiga. Also, it should just have the smelting recipes and crafting recipes already, as you can see. And then for each mineral, we're just going to create a folder. So I'm going to put aurorium and drag everything in here just so we can organize this mod because if this mod actually gets kind of big, it's going to be really annoying to have all these elements in the main workspace. Now we have pyrite, so this can ignite nearby blocks when struck. It's common in the desert and nether, so we're gonna make pyrite and it's only found in the desert and nether. So we're gonna do exactly the same, pyrite, and pyrite, I believe, is fool's gold. So we're going to do it gem based and we're going to make it kind of like look a bit of gold, but like a little bit brown, kind of like that. And we're going to make it like a cheap ore. It's going to have one power factor. That kind of looks like pyrite. So it's found in desert and nether biomes. So let's go ahead and spawn this only in the desert biomes and also nether. So we'll just do basic nether waste, right? I know there's a few different nether biomes. It can ignite blocks nearby when struck. So we'd have to make a trigger for that. So we do when blocks destroyed by the player. So we'll create that. And then I think fire is an entity. So I might be able to just spawn fire. Can we spawn fire? Let's just do it sets the player on fire for a few seconds. And it spawns a small set of fireballs. So that's going to be interesting. So it's going to set the player on fire. Let's just say for two seconds. Because it's kind of OP if they just burn for 15 seconds. They'll probably end up dying when they mine it. And now we've created pyrite. So we've got two basic minerals, aurorium and pyrite. And they're spawning different biomes. Now we have Celestine. So this block floats in water. Well, most blocks float when you drop them in water anyway, so I don't think we have to do anything about that. It crafts buoyant blocks and it spawns near oceans. Okay, so let's make Celestine. Celestine, this is going to be like, I'd say another blue one, but we'll do like a more ocean colored blue. And this is going to be ingot based. And now we have Celestine. So this literally looks like an ocean block. So Celestine ore, Chad GPT told me that this is going to spawn near oceans. So we're literally just going to put all the ocean biomes in the spawn parameters i don't know how to make buoyant blocks but let's just say that this celestine block is the block that we're going to craft right because
because it's already made this block for us. Let's see what we can do with this. Let's see if we can make something similar or make something more interesting. Buoyant basically just means that it floats on water, right? We could make the block waterloggable. I guess that's an interesting merit to it. We could make the block like a little bit slippery. Instead of being buoyant, we could just make it like slightly slippery to walk on. So this is just a slippery block that's waterloggable. So at least it kind of has its own properties still. Then we have Mystic Quartz. So we already have quartz and it's found in the nether, but this is like a brand new rendition of it or a different type, I guess. Maybe we can use quartz to craft it. I guess this is a new mineral, so we'll just make it like its own block. Changes color based on the type of day. Rare, found deep underground. So I don't know how to do color changing. That's going to be interesting, but we'll make it rare and we'll find it deep underground. Mystic quartz. Okay, mystic quartz. We'll just make it like gem based and quartz is usually like a white creamy color, right? I'm not sure if we can find the color. It's like something like that, but mystic, we could make that like have a purple tint to it and we'll just make this like really OP. Mystic quartz ore. I actually like this that it's dropped. It's kind of like its own like gem. It's like a, a random texture. Now this needs to be found deep underground. So for this one, we can just spawn it in all biomes, but we need to actually change the generation. So if we go on the generation height, we can see a few examples. Diamond is an ore which generates pretty deep, so that's minus 64 to 16. So we'll just literally just copy the diamond values and then we know that it'll spawn really deep. And then we're going to make this like spawning clusters just as much as gold. So we're going to do two ores per chunk with nine per group. So it's literally, it's got the spawn location on the Y value, how deep it is as diamond, but it spawns as frequently and as big of a chunk as a gold ore deposit. Aurorium tools emit light. So I'm not going to create armor and stuff like for everything, but let's actually create some of these items. So Aurorium tools emit light. So let's create an Aurorium set of tools. So we'll do a tool pack, Aurorium tool. We'll make it out of dust. We should have done gems because it makes no sense that you're crafting tools out of dust, but it doesn't matter. We'll do this Aurorium. We'll make it kind of OP. So we have Aurorium tools. It's literally made us all the recipes too. So these tools are going to emit light. So how are we going to do that? This is going to be interesting. I guess we could enable the glowing effect. It's it's literally just as simple as that. We don't really have to do much more. We'll just make the tools glow because it just said emit light. There wasn't really any other parameters other than that. Okay, that was actually surprisingly easy. So this tool pack is going to emit light. Now we need to make pyrite armor that provides fire resistance. So on pyrite, we're just going to create an armor pack and we're going to make this out of pyrite we'll just call it pyrite armor okay so pyrite armor now this is fire resistance so we may as well just make the items immune to fire so just like netherite stuff this is literally all we have to do just go in advanced settings make it immune to fire so we want to remove this armor bit so it's just pyrite helmet pyrite chest plate pyrite leggings otherwise the item name is just going to look really weird in game and it's as simple as that we literally have fire resistance but you could also let's just say a random chest plate tick event you could also do a potion effect which should just add it to the player when you wear it and then just do like fire resistance with level three for i think it's zero seconds or maybe it's like you just put like a high number of ticks something like that and then just save it so the chest will at least give us fire resistance if it doesn't work so that's a basic secondary way of doing it celestine tools increase swimming speed so that'd actually be quite easy so if we just do create tool pack we'll use our celestine and then we'll make the tool pack like decent now the easiest way i can think of doing this is literally just adding like dolphin's grace as like a trigger so when the tools in the inventory because we don't want to make it so like the tools just in the hand because otherwise you'd have to take it out to get the effect we'll do an add potion effect we'll do dolphin's grace level three and we'll do it for just zero ticks i think that should just make it infinite but we'll have to test it in game what else is good for like swimming speed i guess we'll just do speed would be on land so that'd be kind of annoying conduit power we'll just give that i can't even remember what that effect does if i'm honest but we're just gonna give it to the player for the sake of it okay so they get conduit power and they get dolphin's grace which should be infinite whenever they have the pickaxe in the inventory so now we'll just go to triggers and we'll just copy that literally to every single tool so if they have anything that's celestine just like chat gpt says we should get like swimming abilities and like uh, just a buff generally under the water which kind of makes sense since this is an ocean block Mystic Quartz items change appearance. Yeah, again, not sure how to do that. Let's see what we can make. Glowing Lantern. Okay, I guess I could make that. This is just an item. It doesn't say it's a block, so I guess I could just make like a random texture. So I'm just going to go and create texture. We're going to create... Let's just go and template. Is there anything that looks like a lantern we can just like rip? I guess I can make this into like a lantern or something. I'm not very good at pixel art, so don't anyone grill me in the comments for this okay that kind of looks like a handle and then a lantern i guess let's just color it like dark green this is a really like quick texture and then the edges should be like a little bit of a different hue 
Okay, let's just say that's a lantern and then we want to like, I guess we want to have like a, a candle or something in the bottom. We want like a flame, right? So let's just draw some like random fire. That's That really doesn't look like a lantern, but that, that's literally the best you're going to get. <laughs> then this just add like a little bit of noise so it looks like a bit better. Okay, that looks tiny bit better. Now we're going to save this as an item, so we're going to save it as lantern. The lantern's crafted with Aurorium. So now what we should do is go to Aurorium, want to create an item, Aurorium Lantern. So now we're going to use that texture. We're just going to put illuminates surrounding areas, I guess. We're going to give it the glow effect too, because it's a lantern. In fact, no, we're not going to give it the glow effect. So it's the Aurorium Lantern. We'll just give it like the rare item stat. We want one item per stack. Now for triggers, we want it to do, when item's in the hand, we want to make it do something. So, now I'm going to do a little bit of a workaround to do this. I would like to make some kind of emissive lighting system where it like surrounds the player with like a tiny few blocks of light. But I don't really know how to do that. So what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to do like a little bit of cheat. I'm going to give the player night vision because I know that works underwater as well. With level 3 for let's just say in fact it doesn't really matter we could just put 60 ticks because it's going to keep resetting anyway so if they have that out it's going to create like a night vision effect let's just change the ticks to like one because then like when they put the item away the effect will disappear and then we're going to just give it a crafting recipe so we're just going to call it the rorium lantern recipe right how can we make this let me see we want a handle so i guess it only makes sense if we like had a handle made out of sticks this is going to be like a really butchered like recipe because i'm i'm just thinking of this on the spot so we'll make a makeshift handle out of sticks and then in the middle i'm actually just going to make it so it's like a flint and steel to like light the lantern it makes sense and then at the bottom we need to use the aurorium dust because it's made out of aurorium or we can do one dust and then aurorium block so it's going to be kind of like an expensive crafting recipe to make, but that makes sense. Now, some of these stuff are complex, like an ore detecting mineral detector, which like lights up and beeps. I didn't know how to make that. It wants us to make custom achievements. So if we find a certain ore, we get an achievement. So for Aurorium, th these are pretty simple to do. Achieve Aurorium. In fact, let's just ask it. Generate me an achievement title description for each achievement for acquiring each ore. Aurora Hunter, discover the luminescent Aurorium ore in the icy depths of a cold biome. Okay, I like that. Aurora Hunter. The achievement icon should probably just be like the Aurorium block or dust or something. And then the block related trigger, we can do that like within the block. So we want to do custom trigger and Aurorium ore. When blocks destroyed by the player, we want to give the player achievement and want it to be Aurora Hunter. Desert fire starter. Unearth the fiery pyrite ore beneath the scorching sands of a desert or the nether. Desert fire starter so it's literally just the same thing i'm just gonna go through and just make these advancement templates now this already has a procedure for when the block's destroyed because it's going to create that fireball so we're just going to add another one onto it and just add the advancement as well so we're going to give them the advancement first and then create the fire event oceans float stone dive into depths and claim the buoyant celestine ore near the ocean's embrace okay i quite like that one as well celestine custom trigger where's our celestine ore triggers when block destroyed by player it's the same kind of thing right and then we're just going to add the achievement and now the last one is mystic quartz timekeeper's gem delve into the deepest caverns and uncover the ever-changing mystic quartz now we didn't actually incorporate that feature but it still sounds cool just going to still put it on the achievement timekeeper's gem right where's mystic quartz okay that's mystic quartz and then it's all we need to do then we'll add the advancement again when the block's broken by the player. And now we've actually created everything which ChatGPT outlined and told us to do in the mod. So now we can press a launch, which you can't see right here, but I just pressed the launch button. So we're now going to test our mod called Mystic Minerals. So this should be actually pretty exciting. Okay, boom, let's jump into a world and see if this works. Let's see if everything we've created actually works exactly how we meant it to so i'm gonna just spawn diamond pickaxe i should have made a creative tab because we have to actually go and find everything <laughs> which is gonna be a bit annoying so first of all there's aurorium boom so as you can see this just had glowing tools aurorium were tools which are supposed to glow we've just used the normal minecraft glow effect where it's kind of like that animated enchantment glow which looks like they're enchanted even though they're not and it adds this like cool sway effect to the sword then we have pyrite armor so let's see how this works does this actually do something Pyrite helmet. Okay, it does give us fire resistance. Okay, if I take the chest off, the fire resistance goes. So the fire resistance effect they added onto the chest after, you need the chest to get fire resistance. Let's see if it's actually immune to fire because just like netherite, we actually made it so it wouldn't burn in fire. I think that's what I meant by immune to fire. Okay, well, we can't see what happened to it. So I guess, oh no. 
Yeah, it is immune to fire. Okay. So we can't actually lose our armor if we die or burn. That's cool. Then we also had Celestine. Right. So as you can see here, Celestine tools were supposed to give us like a swimming buff. And that also works. So we get Dolphin's Grace and Conduit Power. So as you can see here, nothing really happens around the surface when I'm on the surface. But if I jump in the water, you can see we have Dolphin's Grace. So Dolphin's Grace is just kind of like a buff. I believe it makes you swim quicker. I could also alternatively add the speed to it, but it would have been way too overpowered. So we have the fire resistance of the armor. We have the Dolphin's Grace and Conduit Power of our Celestine tools. Now, a few things haven't worked because I don't think I actually added them to the creative menu. So let's see if I can go fix that. So I think I fixed the problem because we couldn't find certain items before because we actually forgot to add a creative tab. So we didn't assign any items to actually be visible. But now I've made a creative tab. So we have a few extra items. So we have the Aurorium tools, which are glowing ones. We saw this before, but now we have a tab with all of the ores in as well. So we can just take a look at some of these ores. And then we also have this cool lantern. So let me just place down some of the ores. So we have Desert Fire Starter, Unearth the Fiery Pyrite Ore. We have Aurorian Ore, Celestian Ore, and also Mystic Quartz Ore. Now I think all of these should be mineable with a diamond pickaxe. You can see that Pyrite set me on fire, but if you mine it when you've got the Pyrite Armor, then you obviously get fire resistance. Also, that aura I just mined, I don't think actually dropped the dust. The aurora was supposed to drop the dust, but it didn't. That's a little bit weird. Then we have this over here. So we did get the achievement still, though. And we also got it for Celestine. And then I think we've already... Have we already got the achievement for this? Timekeeper's gem. Okay, so one thing that's a little bit glitchy is those two ores are not dropping the gems. But I'll fix that after or, like, off camera. And also these fireballs that spawn from the pyrite, I don't think even seem to disappear. So that's also a little bit of a glitch as well. <laughs> but I can always fix this later. The next one I want to see if it actually works is this lantern. Okay, this Aurorian lantern, which apparently illuminates the surrounding areas, is supposed to be a lantern which glows, but it's also supposed to work on water. So the question is, does it work? Ah, okay. So if we take it off, we can't see. If we use it, we get a little bit of night vision. Now, if we use this in first person, it looks fine because we only have a certain like level of vision in the distance, right? But if we use it in third person, then you can see that from our vision, the whole ocean is illuminated. So it looks a little bit less believable. That's cool. That night vision workaround actually meant that we could use like this lantern and it works underwater. Now, let's be honest, the texture is not good. It clearly looks like an edited potion texture, which is <laughs> exactly what it is. It doesn't really look like a lantern, but that's the best that you're going to get. Now, if you do want to get this mod, it's going to be linked down below. I'm going to post this on my Patreon to everyone who's following my Patreon. It's a small, simple mod. If you guys are supporting the Patreon, you can go ahead and download it and test it out for yourself. And if you want me to make your mod video idea, then watch this next clip. But I'd say all in all, we did a pretty decent job with actually making this mod. There was some quite advanced components and parts to it that I just didn't really know how to make. But I think I actually stuck to the plan, what GPT told us, and I made like at least 80% of the elements it suggested. And the mod turned out pretty cool. But unfortunately, the mod is like every other one of those gemstone slash ore mods that you find on Curse Forge. There's like a million of them, and they all kind of do the same thing, and they're very uninteresting. So next time, maybe we'll make a more advanced mod. We probably should have made the green energy mod it suggested us in the first place, but we only had a small deadline and duration for the video, right? I don't think we can make a complex power mod in the confines of like a 10 to 30 minute video. If you enjoyed this video, make sure to give it a like and subscribe and comment your mod ideas below because soon I'm going to be making your Minecraft mod ideas. Make them as weird and as crazy as possible and they might be in the next video.